All amino acids possess an amino group and a carboxylic acid group around a central carbon. The central carbon also attaches to an R group, which can vary, and this variable group determines whether the amino acids are polar or nonpolar or acidic or basic, etc. When amino acids react forming peptide bonds, this leaves one side of the peptide with a free amino group and the other side with a free acid group. And this trend continues if more and more amino acids are added to the chain. One end of the peptide will have a free amino group and one end will have a free carboxylic acid group. The human genome codes for a diversity of exopeptidases, enzymes which can cut amino acids from either end of a peptide chain. Some of these are carboxypeptidases because they can remove amino acids from the carboxylic acid end of a peptide chain, while others are aminopeptidases because they can remove amino acids from the amino end of a peptide chain. Most exopeptidases do not function in digestion. One very common function is that they remove amino acids from proteins made within the cell, and this can convert an inactive protein to an active protein. 